KGNC News Radio, David Lovejoy, uh, talking about the upcoming Amarillo City elections. We're uh, lucky to have Councilman Elijah Demerson in studio with us. Welcome today, Councilman. Uh, thank you very much for having the opportunity to come. Well, uh, let's get right into it. A few questions about the upcoming election. What made you decide to run for re-election this term? Well, David, you know, uh, the reason I wanted to run for re-election I think over the past two years we have uh, implemented and put in place some tremendous uh, what I call strategic planning tools uh, that I want to see accomplished uh, and uh, I think that uh, another term uh, is warranted. You know I have been the calm and steady uh, voice of reason and leadership on the council in the past two years. Of course I'm an experienced office holder uh, and I am community focused. Uh, I think that is uh, evident with, uh, uh, you know, with a number of the initiatives that we have brought forth. Uh, and of course, lastly, uh, I am uh, community focused uh, for all of Amarillo, not just a specific area. You brought up being a calming influence on, on the council. Uh, many people see the current uh, city council as sort of dysfunctional. Uh, you know, some infighting, some issues. Uh, what would you do to remedy that situation? Well, first of all, let me just say that I have, uh, I have, very intentionally tried to stay above uh, those internal conflicts. Uh, I, uh, of course, I am a my life calling as a pastor, and, and I'm used to working with people. Uh, I know how to work with difficult people, and so I don't see that as a problem. Whoever is elected. Uh, you know, we know that there will be at least uh, three new fa new faces, uh, people that have never been on, uh, have never served publicly. And so I just see myself as, number one, a calming uh, force on the council, but also providing that experienced leadership. The leadership that the city's kind of guiding toward. Yes. Um, if re-elected, what's one of the first issues you want to tackle? We want to continue, you know, one of the things that, uh, that I'm, if you will, one of the benchmarks that Elisha Demerson has, uh, has put forward is what we call a neighborhood plan. Uh, working with Commissioner McGee or Owen Potter County, you know, we've been able to work with communities. Uh, it started with the uh, North Heights community, and what came out of that 10-month study uh, was a neighborhood plan. And with this template, we are moving to what I call disadvantaged and decaying of communities, uh, engaging the communities uh, in a sense, if you will, of uh, we're going to help uh, you identify. And what it, what it requires is community engagement. And so uh, we're now currently in the barrio. And after that, we're going to go to San Jacinto. Uh, beyond San, Jac San Jacinto is the East Ridge, Pleasant Valley but not just communities, uh, if you will, north of I-40, uh, because a lot of our communities are aging, such as I spoke with, uh, with a neighborhood uh, group at uh, the Plymouth Echo, and I said, you know, though you have a rich history uh, in Plymouth Echo, uh, you know, your infrastructure is aging, and this template will be able to be used even in areas like Plymouth Echo, like Wolfland, uh, like Westlawn, uh, so I look forward to perfecting uh, this template as we move around the city uh, to upgrade communities that have, have, uh, that have age on them, uh, that are the older communities. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, a lot of focus has been put on downtown revitalization. Uh, you just spoke of that. You see that other areas of the city uh, need revitalization, not just downtown, correct? Absolutely. Two years ago when I ran, uh, folk asked me, folk would ask me, uh, they said, are you going to stop downtown revitalization? And I said, of course not. Uh, that still continues to be true. Uh, you know, Elisha Demerson, I believe that I was on the right side of critical issues as it related to downtown uh, during this past two years. But I always say there's more to Amarillo, Texas than just downtown Amarillo. And so I'm about uh, all of Amarillo. Uh, Amarillo, whether you're, whether you're northeast or southwest, uh, whether you're northwest or southeast, uh, Elisha Demerson is uh, community focused uh, about all of Amarillo. And that's, uh, if elected, how accessible will you be to the public? Since day one, uh, not only have I uh, 
published my personal cell phone, uh, but I, I also bought an additional cell phone that uh, uh, that on the city website is uh, is my is that cell phone number. I've also made accessible my uh, personal email, uh, city email. Uh, that is the nice thing about Elisha Demerson. I uh, I retired uh, from the federal government after a very successful uh, 26 years of service, and so I'm retired. Uh, and I have there are weeks that I spend probably 40 to 60 hours uh, doing city business. Uh, you will anybody you talk to about Elisha Demerson, they will tell you uh, that I am accessible, and will continue to do so. Now, uh, the elections coming up. Uh May 6th, what would you tell the people of Amarillo and this community about Elijah Demerson to get them out to the polls to garner their vote? You know, I was born and raised here in Amarillo, Texas, and uh, I'm excited about uh, Amarillo's future. Uh, my three daughters uh, and their families, my seven grandchildren, all live here in Amarillo, Texas. I tell folk that uh, uh, when, I, when I die and go to heaven, I'll go to heaven from Amarillo, Texas. And so I am, uh, I'm not just a Johnny-come-lately uh, individual. I'm not just a one-trick pony. I'm about all of Amarillo. Uh, if you are about your community, uh, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be someone that's just in southwest Amarillo. You know, we have uh, upwards of a of million-dollar homes. Uh, but some people are like me. They are, uh, they are retired. They're on fixed incomes. They will never move to those, to the colonies or to the greenways, uh, but they love where they're living. If you love where you're living and you want to see your community, uh, every community deserves uh, adequate public safety. Uh, I'm all about public safety. I'm about uh, equipping our first responders, uh, the equipment and the resources uh, to, be, uh, to be effective in any community anywhere in Amarillo, Texas. And so if you want to see this continue, uh, I welcome uh, your support and your vote. May 6th is the election. Mr. Elijah Demerson, thank you for coming in, Councilman, and speaking with us. Place one on the ballot. Good luck, sir, and thank you for coming to KGNC Radio. Thank you very much.